Hello everyone. This is the outfit we have today. It's a little spunky, but we are going to Hampstead Heath to walk around, hang out. Sophie is meeting us. I didn't want to really do anything with my hair, so that's what we're going with. Let's go. to be at this situation. She said that I have maybe a little bit over a month left to finish out. We're gonna do another set of prescriptions. And then I'm like really excited because I think I'm gonna be done with Accutane, hopefully. Oh my gosh, knock on wood. Going on the Northern Line. And I'm excited to go to Hampstead Heath. We're gonna go to like these gardens around there too, which is a beautiful day. It's not that sunny in London, which I enjoy and really like because the sun does sometimes, it's like when you're in LA, you don't really have rain. I like the mix between sun and rain. I like having those two different environments. Very British. I need to make sure that's not my screen. I have two minutes until the train. So this is what the thing is about the Northern Line. It goes to different places. To make sure it's the right place. I'm supposed to go to Edgware because it's high for now. I love when people do that on my vlogs. Like, like yeah, I'm videoing. I have yet to start my master's work and I'm sort of getting stressed out because my parents just booked their flights to come to London in September for the exhibition and I just need to finish. I need to finish it out strong. I want it to be really beautiful and an amazing piece of work. I will also vlog all of that. I have photo shoots set up I need to do. I have so many different things I need to do with that in regards to that, but I've been really enjoying my time just hanging out in London and, you know, going on little dates like this where I get to go see Sophie. Said he. Uh, she just came back from New York City. First time in the U.S. Like Never. my first time on the continent. <laughs> Is that a continent? Yeah. No, like, North America. Yeah. Anywhere on that side of the earth. Okay. <laughs> and it was a um, yeah. school trip, pretty much. So yeah. Condé Nast, they had this New York City trip, yes, which is it did. was really it looked really cool. But amazing. so she has this list of amazing things that she <laughs> saw yeah. and that she thought just You're were amazing. Die. And the first one, she said it was a yellow school bus. <laughs> I've never seen a yellow school bus. Like I mean, I watched the Magic School Bus. I yes. Think they're in the old school. Bus. They don't fly. <laughs> but like, it's just it's fantasy to me. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the first thing I saw when we landed was a sheriff. A sheriff. A sheriff. He was wearing, I thought like, you were about to say Ed Sheeran. No, a sheriff. <laughs> okay. And he was wearing like Do a you cowboy not hat. No. <laughs> they're scary. And he was pulling someone scary, over. Yeah. And I was. Like, we all sheriffs went are to, really like, scary. The side of the bus, and we were like. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, were you on the school bus? No, 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 well, we had a lot of us. Oh, oh, oh. I wish they picked those up. In I was gonna say, wait, they picked those up. I wish. In a school bus, that would be funny. Okay, wait, real quick. I want you to focus on this. This is where you turn into. Oh, isn't it so cute? It's so awesome. <laughs> Aren't they cute? I think this is English. We need to get I'm pictures. Such tourists right now. I know. I know. We should get some pictures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we should get them together, too. We love Hampstead Heath. Yeah. So we I was gonna bring up I, I wanna I wanna hear more on the list. Okay. So we have the sheriff. Okay, and then we have a yellow school this? bus. Oh, okay, ready? Okay. I said these are my American highlights. Yellow school buses, NYPD, sheriffs, hot dog stands, diners. I went to a diner. It was so good. <laughs> I had the fattest burger of my life. <laughs> Great. Okay. The subway. Cowboy hats, Times Square, Cowboy bagels. hats. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Bagels. Had my first bagel ever. Uh-huh. Shout out Tompkins Square Bagels. Was it good? Oh my god. I've had New York bagels, but like... Like this place was yeah. elite. 
Okay. My phone man's room. <laughs> I was like, thank you. Pizza. New York pizza. Yeah, yeah. The mat, it was, good, right? it was really good. It was yeah, huge. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna get a whole pizza. You I got a slice. slice and I was like, you're full. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, the mat, the Brooklyn Bridge, yellow Does cabs, it, yeah. pink drink, and the World Trade Center. Pink drink, Starbucks. Yeah, pink drink from yeah. Starbucks. Because <laughs> they don't have the sleevers in I, the UK. Yeah. And here, they I, just don't do it. I remember I just like little Sophie watching James Charles. <laughs> well, like other bloggers. The, I mean, like, like pink, pink drink. drink. Yeah. Yeah, American. So. And you're like, I got the pink drink. It how was, was it? Phenomenal. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. Also, okay, wait. You have to yeah. tell me if this is true or false, but I heard in the US, like, you have a tall, a grande, a venti, and then a trente. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like... So I was with my friend Harley, who's from the States. Yeah. I thought she was like, taking the mick out of me. Like, no, I'm pretty sure that's real. That's the thing. That's a, real, yeah. A trente? I normally get ventis when I'm there. I know. Everyone, yeah, everyone that ventis. walked out of the Starbucks yeah. and a venti, I was yeah. like... Okay, well, I get I got a venti pink drink. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, venti. one in row. Yeah. yeah. And you do light ice. Oh, yeah. Normally. Oh. Because they, okay, well, they kind of put so much ice, they barely give you drinks. So, mm. the drink is actually a grande size, but they fill the cup up so much. Yeah, it's a trick. So, you have to do light ice normally. Starbucks. So, you get more cheeky. of your drink. I know, a cheeky little Starbucks. I love how neat this is. What? Like when you Neat, look, but not clean. Yeah. You look okay. down the street, yeah. it's just like goes on forever because yeah. it's so like in a grid. Super, yeah. Is I that, could see know, myself living there. You could. Yeah. But did you go to other like not the touristy spots, like different neighborhoods? Did y'all um, have time to do that? Yeah, yeah. I went to you would like it even better. I went to Dumbo, like I wanted to go to Brooklyn, but we didn't have any time. Yeah. But like I think Dumbo's like the new trendy place. I would say I don't I haven't even like, heard of Dumbo yet. Yeah, I haven't it's, been in New York um, in forever. Across the Brooklyn Bridge. Okay. But it's like right there. The people I met there they were cool. saying like if I were gonna live somewhere I'd probably be like a Dumbo girl or a Brooklyn girl. <laughs> so I was like, a Ooh. Dumbo or Brooklyn okay. girl, okay. I accept. I don't know what that means. But yeah. They're like thank you. That, yeah, would I, you be in New York ten? Yes, you would. What's a New be. York ten? I don't know. You know how they say like you're in LA ten or you're a Georgia 10. No, like I've a never Georgia heard of 10 that. is not like an LA 10. What? So, yeah. I've never but that's heard of that. super, super stereotypical and biased, and everyone's beautiful to each other. Like, you know, everyone has so different like, tastes. There's different. But they say. Standards in each. Yes. So, what would a New York 10? What is the I don't, You know what? I don't know. Or like, what's the LA? LA 10 is like. Kardashian. Okay. You know, that would be, I feel right. like, in my opinion, would be an so LA 10. I would say, like, New York 10 is probably, like, naturally pretty normal vibe. Yes. So maybe, I mean, maybe a little bit, maybe a little, around. yeah, like, maybe a little, um, yeah. not cooler, but edgier. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, more, like, like down to hang with the brows. Yeah. Or, I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Like, a Georgia 10 would be country southern belle who, like a blonde hair a blonde like, hair blue eye girl who yeah to London. I'm, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding but they're saying that they're different so like a georgia 10 like you can get more for your money if you move to georgia than la <laughs> or something yeah. yeah but that's but that's like i don't know that's so interesting. it's interesting but then again it's like who's to judge it yeah true like, it's gonna, yeah you know but they say it is like a figure of speech like oh yes. she's like a georgia yes okay so this is my house, my TV crib. <laughs> I'm gonna live here with my two ragdoll cats. Yeah. And we're just gonna make it super quaint, whimsical, yeah. interior design and- Just something stuff. casual. Around here, this is normally our little tabby cat. He's <laughs> out here chasing some mice around, but I can't really find them. We have that little bowl of water right there for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are. We're not supposed to be back there. Um, we're not? No, because I think there's people there. But oh. this is the front and has oh, all the yellow. The we're yellow is very you. Very me, but we're actually deciding maybe doing like a light pink, like a very oh. light pink. So right. yeah, that's in the wrap, so. Okay, okay and well, nice. Yeah. This is like 73 questions. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Izzy. What? Oh. Wait. What? I thought that was a real cat. Oh, in my <gasps> house? <Yeah. laughs> no way that's real. No, it's not real, but it's cute and it's <laughs> like a fluffy white that rag is. doll. That's what it is. So, the sign's right there to go, but Sophie and I are not good at reading signs in all aspects of life. We can't take hints. <laughs> I've been pretty good recently. <laughs> I've been, I've been, oh, I, oh, good, that's still recording. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> I want one. Um, I know, I didn't even think about it. I didn't even know you 
<laughs> I hear British voice accents. <laughs> what? Oh, there's a bee. Yeah. <laughs> there's a bee. Okay. What? Let's do a point five. Wait, we should do a TikTok. Yo, look how beautiful. So pretty. That's like the sound I'm hearing. Yeah, what's that sound? It's in TikTok, right? Yeah. Yes, that's so, your voice. Oh wait, you sh can you sing for us? Will you sing a song? Yeah. That song? Huh? Which song? You'd be like a princess singing. Oh my gosh, wait, can you? Will you? This is beautiful. Resist and resist the temptation I ask you if one thing had been different Would everything be different today? Oh, so pretty! <laughs> I'm gonna do one more. Okay. Everyone's gonna be like, wow, who's that beautiful angel singing in the garden? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would literally be like, I know oh my you God, would. sing more. <laughs> home now and a tad bit burnt as you can see oh, I always forget that I'm on Accutane and when it comes to Accutane your skin is a little bit more sensitive to the sun it's really loud outside I know I have the windows open so I can have a breeze but I had such a fun time with Sophie today those gardens are beautiful you need to go I saw this pub and it was called the garden gate and I just had this epiphany that I think that's part of Taylor Swift's lyrics. In Cruel Summer, she says, snuck in through the garden gate every night that summer just to seal my fate. And you know, I assumed it's just like a literal garden gate is what she's talking about. You know, like sneaking in a garden to, you know, seal her fate with the guy, like meeting up with the guy to make sure that, you know, to seal the fate that they're gonna be together so they hang out all the time, whatever. But then this Hampstead Heath, pub it said the garden gate and that's the name of the pub so i'm like okay maybe she was being direct about it and saying she was sneaking into that pub every night during the summer you know to hang out with the guy to seal the fate that they would you know date and be together mind blown i don't even know if it's true or whatever i don't want to start a rumor but i posted on tiktok too to like hopefully get it going and see if anyone else agrees with me but that's like really interesting i will catch y'all later Thank you for watching and following along again. I'm trying to get more vlogs out. Like I told you on the last few vlogs, I think I said it somewhere. I have that much content right now where I'm like, I don't know where, which vlog I put it in, but I'm trying to get more out to y'all. So I will catch y'all next week. Have a great, lovely week, weekend, wherever you're at watching this vlog and see y'all later. Bye y'all.